in town. Alrighty, and we look forward to City of Valdosta officials accompanying us on our chainsaw cleanups. You do not actually have to use a chainsaw, you can just help clean up, or you can do what the mayor does when I hand him a sawzall. You <laughs> use that battery powered, less bust not, not bad, mad skills. Mm -hmm. I was smart enough to get out of the way from the limb falling. Yes, well. There you go. Mm -hmm. When it got close, I, I turned my boat at a different angle because I knew when that thing goes down, it was going to swamp me. I was busy backing up. I didn't Everybody else that. did. Maybe that's what triggered me. Everybody started backing up when it was getting close. That's right. So nobody else has to use my 24-inch bar chainsaw, which was very useful on this last one. There were some logs that just nothing else would get. I had an odd thought the other day when we were talking about the upcoming cleanup and many, many more to follow. and it, I, I always see the gold shovels for for groundbreaking ceremonies, mm -hmm. I'm going to get a bunch of nets. Good plan. Long arm nets that'll be the same thing that we bust out for a lot of these cleanups mm -hmm. because they're needed. All right, hold that thought because we're coming back. We'll talk about the upcoming cleanup this weekend and, and next weekend and, and uh, invite you to all of them as well when we come back. John Quarterman, the Riverkeeper himself in studio. We're Top 92.1.